Tonight we're throwing London's first ever plastic free party. We're talking about single use plastics. So as you come in, you just get a cup put around your neck. You come inside the club, you have your party. They're 100% recyclable, but we're hoping they never end up in that. We want to reuse them and reuse them and reuse them. We've replaced plastic straws with avocado straws. These are made from um, waste avocado pips. They're silver cans, 100% recyclable, made from 70% recycled aluminium. And finally, we've got plant-based glitter, which is 100% biodegradable. People don't think of glitter as plastic, but it is, and it's very single use. We did not find it that easy to go entirely plastic free with this because the more you look into it, the more you realise, you know, it is absolutely everywhere. So the thing is, as it stands, me and Hardy were external promoters, so we're not in charge of the bar or the venue or their deliveries. Whilst we're trying to change an industry from the promoter's perspective and from an event's perspective, there's another level above that of deliveries and like where people are buying massive bulk orders and it all comes in plastic packaging. So on top of what's happening on the night, you also had that to deal with before. And at the moment, we're not in a position to really tackle that. I don't understand why other clubs aren't doing it. It's so possible for this to happen everywhere across London. Clubbing is such a thing in England, and yet every time you do it, you're contributing to plastic waste, one of the worst issues of the planet. Well, I feel like I'm doing a good thing for the environment whilst also having a good time. What we're trying to do here is enter into an industry that has a really bad track record for sustainability. And if we can make this work here, in a place where probably most people would say it's the hardest, then we can do it anywhere.